Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And today we are trying out the most controversial hotel in all of Las Vegas. Trump Tower, Las Vegas. Let's go. How did we get here? So we booked Trump Tower because it was a very nice room at under $150 for a random night that we needed extra. Yep. This is not a political statement. If Kamala Harris has a hotel, we will go stay there Yeah, too. we'd be happy to try that one out too. But we like to stay at different hotels in Las Vegas, so we're gonna check this out, so let's go check in. If you're unsure of where Trump Tower is, it is slightly off the strip. It is, uh, right over here is the Fashion Show Mall. You can see Encore down the way. It's actually down the street from Wynn, and it is this giant, iconic gold building. All right, check-in process went great. Easy. Uh, we actually checked in early. It is like 11.15. They did offer us an upgrade. They did. So we <laughs> took it. So for $75 more, we went from a basic king room into a corner suite, which has almost like 950 square feet. Yeah, almost double what the original room was. Yeah. Be. All right, we just walked in, and I gotta say, this place is pretty great. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. All right, so we have a kitchenette. We have a full-size fridge. Full-size fridge, full-size oven, full-size, um, what do you call it? Stove oh, top. Oh, the stove top, yeah. Microwave, freezer. we already heard the ice come out of there. Yeah, fridge, freezer, there's even a dishwasher, it appears here. Um, I ain't doing no dishes. No, <laughs> but enjoyed with the room, as part of the resort fee, is coffee in the room yes. and complimentary waters. Which the resort fee was $39. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's obviously this stuff as well as Wi-Fi. Yep. And the Wi-Fi pool. pool engine. Yeah. But this is this is a fun little nice little area. Spot. Yeah. But we can do more. We we can do better. We can do more. Dining room table. <laughs> Dining room table for three. Yeah, which is weird, but whatever. <laughs> uh, another sitting area with TV. Looks like. Oh, that one's locked. That seems weird. But. Yeah. What's inside there? Yeah. Oh, safe is down here. Okay. Oh, more pillows, blankets. That's where your friend so, can stay on the yeah, couch. You've got an extra spot for couch. Nice, good-sized TV. Yeah. We do have a heck of a view. This is a corner room. I was going to say, the reason I like this spot, I learned. Yeah, so right over here, <laughs> we've got a nice view of Wynn, Encore, The Sphere, and Palazzo. <gasps> but there's more. <laughs> right off of the dining room area is another is a bathroom not yeah the first bathroom a bath. bathroom with a shower so three-quarter bath okay but that's nice very Let's nice open look that at, sucker yeah, look how big that thing is oh that's actually very nice yeah okay decent decent bedroom let's check out this bedroom so one of the things i've been really liking about these rooms in vegas with the bed is where they place it. Yes. Today we were just chilling out and I love to see the space of, you can watch the Vegas Strip. Like, right. I just love it. It's something about it. Yeah, we were actually staying at Wynn last night and we just love how they have the bed facing the window where yeah. you can just look right out. This one does too. And I, I mean, cause it's a corner suite, you have two different views, but this view as well gives you a nice view of the sphere Absolutely. and the entire strip. I can, all, I can see all the way down to Mandalay Bay. Yeah. That's this is cool. going to be so beautiful at night. It's a good thing we don't have very late plans. Today. I know. Um, now, we will say, we are here because we basically mismanaged our <laughs> comps. Um, not really mismanaged, but we added an extra day, and because we only get two nights over at Wynn and Encore, we had to go ahead and book to have extra. So we wanted to go somewhere that we haven't been before, but we could get for a reasonable price. Yeah, and we think 225 bucks is a reasonable right. price. We were actually originally booked for about $150, yeah, all before, total. Yeah. So another thing I like in this room, two separate closets. Yeah. 
This is definitely a spot where you could stay long term. I do think you, it would be comparable to like a Vidara room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to say like Vidara, these were probably built as condos or like timeshare. Oh, So betcha. I could see okay. that's being why it's built this way. However, <laughs> this is bigger than our bathroom at home by far. This so is like bigger than our bedroom at home. <laughs> yeah, this actually is half the size of our house, this entire room. So yeah. check this out. Beautiful view of the strip. Jetted tub. With a jetted tub. Yeah. We did stay at Fountain Blue and Wind before this, and neither one of them have jets in their tubs, so I think that's definitely something that sets it apart. Mm -hmm. Let's see that shower. Okay, another shower. Much bigger. There we go. But the other one was perfectly sized. Too. Right. And then a two sink. Two sink and Vanity. a separate toilet spot. Yeah. And then this is locked, so another gremlin will come out of there apparently. <laughs> but Hopefully not. All total, I think it was like 200 and 225. 225. Yeah. After resort fee with an upgrade. I will say one downside you'll already know about this is there is no casino here at mm -hmm. Trump Tower. So we're not going to be able to do any gaming there, but we will be going over to win this evening to be able to get any gambling done if we still need a little bit more. But they do have a restaurant on site and a bar and a pool. So we're going to definitely check yes. those out while we're here. They have a spa as well. I'm gonna be real, the uh, food scene here at Trump Tower is not great. It's limited. Yeah, there's a DJT, which is in the main lobby. Um, it seems like it has pretty basic American style food. It does serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and late night. It does. So like midnight, late night. Yeah, and I'll do my best to put up the menus right now for you to see if it's something that you would be interested in. Prices are probably 20 to $30 a dish. But for us, the good thing is this is actually pretty close to the Arts District. About a 10 minute lift ride. So yeah. it was really reasonable. So for lunch, we actually chose to go down. We went to Soul Belly Barbecue, which we had really good barbecue. Mm. And then <laughs> we went over to Nevada Brewers, grabbed a couple of beers, and then Straight Pirate, which is like a pirate bar. You can't go wrong with that kind of stuff. So no. it's, a, it's a close distance. It's a little bit easier to reach if as opposed to being at the mid strip or south strip side, but you do have to leave the property to do it. I was gonna say also, I would assume we haven't been over there, but by looking at the outside, there's a lot of options over at the mall. So Correct. you can also go to the mall or yeah. head over to Win and Encore. That's true. Like and there is stuff within reach. Yeah, we are big fans of the Arts District. We are. But we're also big fans of Win. So for dinner tonight, we're not staying here either. No, we're going back to Wayne. So <laughs> the room is great, but the food scene is not. On that note, we're headed to the pool. Yes, we are. I think it seems decent. It is not at the ground level. Yeah, it's a rooftop pool. Yes, not the very top. Maybe like third floor. <laughs> they do have a quick little bite and drink option called H2O. You can see there's drinks. But we ate a hearty lunch. So we're going to the pool. Pretty ridiculous lunch. What's your thoughts on the Trump pool? Um, it's nice. It's not anything over the top. It's definitely not something that you're going to bring kids and they're going to be like, oh my God, it's the best pool ever. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, it's a rectangle up in the air. Even though it's elevated, which like at Cosmo, you can actually outlook on the strip. That's true. You can't hear. You do see like Palazzo Win Encore. You can see that from here. But that's all you can see. Yeah. 
So it's it's almost a little bit of an oasis. It's not over the top in any way, but it hits the spot and the big key. They actually have a bench. Oh, it's freaking phenomenal. Like, for, which, who doesn't want to sit down yeah, as an adult? People like us. <laughs> A lot of the pools that we've been to, you're basically, everyone's just standing in the middle. So that's a convenient piece. Yeah. All right, the pool was so nice, we had to go test out that bed and a nap was good. It was good. <laughs> they have extra linens there. Oh, I always think, like, I don't understand why they don't put more blankets for you just to curl up in. Right. For that a way nap, you, it was perfect. It's not, we're not going to sleep here. We don't need to get under the sheets. Yeah. Uh, but also use the shower. The shower is very nice. Oh, great water pressure. I love the um, amenities. The body wash yeah. smelled so good. Now, it did seem, like, we noticed a little bit of dating. Yeah. You know, there's some scuff marks on the furniture. The the glass for the shower is a little... It's frosted, so you're not sure if that's the 90s vibe or <laughs> what you're yeah, going 90s, for there. 90s, 2000s, I'm not yeah. sure when. Overall, it's been good. We did go have a drink at the bar yep. slash restaurant, DJT. The menu, like I had said before, it's very standard American fare, yeah. which we like to go, I don't know, overboard when we're in Las Vegas. So. But if That's just, why we're walking to win. Yeah, if you're just there for, I guess it'd be more of what you'd get at a normal hotel. That's, if you're going to a yeah, hotel, bar, standard. or restaurant, that's what you're going to get. Yeah, there's some fried chicken, there's a steak, there's a salmon dish. Yeah, their drinks, cocktails were about $23, wines varied from $17 to $30. But the cool part was, is Donald Trump owns a winery. Which we didn't know. We didn't know that. And they had his wines there, so that yeah. was kind of cool. There you go. I should mention that to get to win, it's less than half a mile, so in Vegas terms, about a block. <laughs> very true, but look at this sunset. We don't see the sunset in Vegas very often. Yes. It's very it's pretty. Beautiful. Trump. Uh, I will say there is basically no entertainment here. Basically late. none. There is none. <laughs> yeah, the restaurant and bar, I think there were three people at the bar. No deals there. Ninth floor. So if you're, if you're looking for some late night entertainment, this is not the place. Yeah. So. But it is walkable. Yes. Very walkable to the strip. The walk to win is probably about five to seven minutes. It is well lit. It is a sidewalk on one and a half sides. So you can do that, get over there, but your entertainment's not here, you're just staying here. There may not be much for entertainment here, but we did luck out and get quite the view though. It's our first time having a sphere view. All right, it is morning. We are about to check out. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. It, I think that's a coffee. Cheers. In room coffee. That's a that's a good day. In room coffee. That's good. Uh, let's just start with a quick overview. So the room is nice. It is very nice. The pillows are terrible. Um, they are instantly flat. So make sure you have at least two for your head. Yeah. The shower was good. A uh, bathtub with the jetted tubs with that view last night was really awesome. Yeah, it was Something really nice. we don't nice. experience very often. We talked about it before, there is no casino here, so your nearest one is going to be Win. It is probably one of the best casinos in all of Las Vegas, so it's not a bad deal to have to walk over there. We really like the Win and walked over there and back last night. It's an easy, easy walk. Yes. As far as dining goes, there is DJT, which 
Does not seem to be busy <laughs> no, it was much busy. at all. And it has very standard American fare. There is a bar that is there. And there really was very little else. There was the H2O bar, which is just outside of the pool cool. area. And they did not have waitresses coming around. So maybe on the weekends they do, but they didn't for the weekday. Yeah, and the restaurant itself, though, is open from like 6.30 a.m. till midnight. So, or yeah, 6.30 a.m. to midnight. And the bar was open until 2 a.m. Yeah, so they do serve all meals, though. As far as the pool, we enjoyed the pool. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was nice. Relaxing. It was Yeah, very relaxing. That was the word that I was definitely going to use to describe it as well. Yeah. It's not anything over the top. It's not booming bass. It's also not, you know, your water slides or anything. No. But it was nice. We did go to the gym. The gym is small but decent. It had everything you needed. I think at least five treadmills and five ellipticals for the cardio side of things. I didn't see any bikes, but I wasn't looking for them either. Right, and there are dumbbells that go up to 75 pounds. Uh, we talked about there is no nightlife here. Yeah. Uh, when we came back last night, there were like three people at the bar, and that was about it. <laughs> you had lobby music playing and, because your lobby bleeds into your restaurant. Yeah. So do your nightlife away. This is really just a hotel yeah. in Las Vegas. I think one of the standouts for me at this hotel is that it is so close to the Strip but so relaxing like mm -hmm. it's it was a nice like decompress for us yeah it was definitely it it's off strip by like less than half a mile but it felt like it was definitely off a bit and able to just relax you you didn't have any of the hustle and bustle and there is a store so you can get all your amenities if you need to mm -hmm. otherwise you'd have to walk across to the mall or over to the strip and I think there's a Walgreens a ways away. Yeah, I would get that one by Gilly's Treasure Island. Right. Yeah. But there is one on property that you can get your waters, get your snacks. Overall, would you say that you would stay here at Trump Tower again? I sure would for the piece of what I said, for the making sure to kind of decompress and relax. If you need that downtime, mm -hmm. I think this is the place to be. You don't feel rushed. You feel like you can relax. I felt that way at the pool. I loved the early check-in and didn't have to worry about anything of that. The quick amenities to the pool, the room, <laughs> the room view. Finally, after a year and a half of it being open, or at least a year of it being open, we got a sphere view. Like. To me, we had a very nice experience. Yeah, I would I would say that this was definitely the best view that we've ever had from a Las Vegas hotel room. Yeah. But I would not stay here again. <laughs> and the reason why is because we do gamble. Yeah. You should probably be staying at a place where you can earn comps by gambling, and here you're going to always be paying. Yeah. Now, I always say that basically gambling is prepaying for a room, so I do it that way. But I'm going to gamble. Yeah. So that's why I don't think I would be back here, but I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. One quick piece I almost forgot, the taxi situation. We did not see taxis lined up, however, an Uber was here within two minutes when we actually needed it. You're not so far away that it takes a long time to get a ride. But on that note, we gotta catch a flight. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All our links are down below. Later.